All right, so first off, ignore the why how that looks. My thing is busted. <clears throat> Anyways, mask cam, that's the word I'm looking for. So this video is basically a quick, small tutorial about how we should name stuff going forward. I think it just makes everything a lot easier. Um, anyways, let me get it right into basically how to name it in the TriCaster first off, and then second off, our naming, how we should actually name our stuff. So basically the f first thing you're going to do, I should probably should have shown it before I clicked it, is right next to the record button, or record whatever, there's that gear. You click the gear, you'll see all this, and what you'll see is this is a replay, something different I can show you if you want. If this goes, if the replay goes down, you can do replays from here. I've done it, not that hard. But down here is where you're really going to care about it. And this is this is not going to change no matter if you have a regular or advanced edition. It's always going to be the same and always in the same spot. So what you're first going to do is make sure it's on mix one here. Because mix one is your master output, your program, and your master feed. It's probably preset. It's usually preset. But if it's not, for whatever reason, you can do it. You can change that here. Um, but the main thing here is you can click on this file name. What it regular, regular, regularly will say will be mix one. As you can see, I typed in here and it says prep playbook from UNK. So what you're going to do if it says mix one or whatever is you can just type in here on your, using your keyboard, whatever you want as I'm eating lunch while I'm doing this. Uh, will for NCN. Boom. You see I put a P in there because I suck. But that's how you change it. You literally just type in there. So let's say we want to change the name. And so that's basically how you do it. Here's how I propose we should name our stuff. This is how I've been naming my stuff. Is whatever it is. So let's say six man champion ship okay so that's pretty easy that's how you <clears throat> so that's the first part of it is putting whatever the name is so let's say this is for the six man championship put the name then after that you just put in the, the actual file number so that was an 08 game and then 11 uh, i think it was 20 22 19 dash one oops dash one and that's how you do it you can just put it, put the file name at the back end of it. That's how I propose we'd start naming our stuff, whether that be in through Final Cut, whether that be in through here like I just showed you. It's a very simple process. I've been kind of doing it just so that if we have talent looking for a specific game or myself looking for um, something specific as well. Like I know I've ran into this issue um, multiple times looking for certain games and I'm and all I see is the number. Like, yeah, the number could be right, but it's easier to just look and say, all right, that file says uh, Santa Land 2019, and then the file name on it. Then trying to have to open it up, look at it, wait, take the two to three minutes it takes to open it up, look at it, close it, and s figure out if it's the right one or not. This way, if we name each file the right way, and when we put it into the server, I think it'd be a lot easier on us, and a lot e like just looking through the files so we don't have to open them up every time, or quick open, or whatever. And it'll be a lot easier on anyone just looking for a specific file. So that's why I proposed. So like Santa Land this week is an 07-20... Uh, what was it? 29? No, 29's Friday. 30-19-1. So like that's for my event on this Saturday. It's Santa Land 07-11-30-19-1. So that way I kind of know what it is, but I also have the name in here as well so you put santa land 2019 whatever you want to name it so it makes sense and then the file name behind it so that way if for whatever reason say we put it in the wrong folder like let's say like we know we all do cross market games say we say tyler does a game down in and this is no drag at tyler say he does a game at grand island puts it in at 03 and has an 03 here but we have the name of it that way we know it's the wrong folder for whatever reason so i think that probably just save us a lot of uh a lot of headache as well. Um, that's just my proposals for what doing. If you guys have any ideas, that'd be great to uh, share them. But that's what I think as well. I'll put a little bit of a link, or I'll put it in the email I send out. We'll have a little bit of a just directions again. So one more time, 
record button, click the gear, it'll say mix one here, just change it to the name every time before you start recording. For basketball games, just make it, I don't know how Tyler you do it, I end it after every game, we can kind of talk about it, um, but if you have, ba say you have a double header, just leave the whole file as one name, and then when you export it, just change it to like girls basketball on one name, or boys basketball is the other name. Um, pretty simple fixes. I, I think we should talk about that as well. But and no, nonetheless, that's what we're talking. That's how you do it here. So.